Hi, my name is Richard and I would like to show you a way on how you can automatically scale your Oracle database up or down using the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, specifically if you're running your Oracle database on a what's called a bare metal instance. So what is this bare metal instance? Bare metal servers are physical servers that you can assign to yourself and you're not sharing this with anyone else in the Oracle Cloud. This is really your own actual concrete physical server. And at this moment there are two uh, types of them, uh, based on the X5 um, or the Oracle X7 hardware. And that means it will have uh, up to 36 cores or up to 52 um, cores inside of the physical server. But while it has all these physical cores in the server, you can actually choose on how many of these cores you would like to use. And you will only be paying for the actual use of how many CPUs you're using. And not just paying it from a CPU perspective, but much more importantly, also from an Oracle database licensing perspective. So if half of the day you would use it for 2O CPUs and the other half of the day you would be using it with 8O CPUs, then half of the day you only have to pay for Oracle database licensing and the CPU cost for just two CPUs. And the other half of the day you'll be using it for the eight, including the license cost. So if you can arrange this uh, intelligently or smartly, then you can really save a lot of cost um, on your Oracle licensing. So um, let me show you on actually how you can do this. What I have done is actually I've written a script that you can automate uh, this auto scaling and you can actually find this on my uh, my github page uh, any key and l and you will find there that there's a, a repository called oci auto scale so here you can download the software and uh, you get the link in the the video etc um on how to install this you can actually go to my blog the oracle cloud blog on www.oc-blog.com and there's a description there on how to actually uh, install the script uh, in your server so I have the Oracle um, Cloud here. Um, if I go to my bare metal servers, uh, you see here that I have two database servers, and these are bare metal servers of the X5 family. They can have up to um, 36 cores inside of them. And at this moment, I actually have two cores um, enabled. So uh, let me actually show you that here. Um, I'm showing you actually the actual amount of processors that are currently available in my environment. And you will actually see that uh, within the operating system, it shows four processors. And uh, why is this? That actually uh, what o Oracle calls uh, a CPU core uh, is actually two threads of the of a single processor. So if you have hyper-threading turned on, which uh, are turned on on these servers, um, two cores will actually give you four what uh, many people refer to as virtual CPUs, vCPUs. So that's why you see right now uh, four. And what I can do in this environment uh, manually is I can actually click on the database server and then I can actually scale it up um, or scale it down. The great thing about this is that when I will be scaling up or scaling down, it actually has absolutely no impact on my database server itself. Well, of course, it will get less or more performant, but it does not go down. Um, my clients don't lose connectivity to it. Um, there's no interruption of servers or, or whatsoever. So you can really do this. Um, anytime during the day or night uh, while fully in production. But of course, you don't want to do this by hand. You want to be smart at this and you want to automatically schedule this. And you probably can predict um, every Friday uh, you have uh, in the evening maybe more workloads and in the weekends you have less. So what my script does is based on a schedule, you can automatically scale up or down um, your database server. So how does it work? Um, it works based on the tag. So if you actually go into the Oracle Cloud into governance uh, and tag namespaces, here you have to define um, a namespace called schedule. And in that schedule, um, you actually have to create something called a tag called any day, uh, weekday, and weekend. And then the individual days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., etc. So how does it work? Is Now when you've created this, you can actually go to um, your database server and if I now click here on tags, I can actually add uh, a certain tag. So I have um, a weekday schedule. This is what how it runs during the weekday. Uh, and I have a, a weekend schedule. And you'll see here, um, so how does, these are 24 numbers. Um, so of the hours of the day, zero hour, one, two, three, until uh, 23 hours. And it tells you per hour then how many cores 
uh, need to be enabled. So if I run uh, my script um, uh, right now in my environment, um, um, you will see it will check um, the time of day. It's first day, um, uh, currently 2200 hours, uh, and the current core count is two. And actually, according to the schedule, there only need to be two. So right now, no action is, uh, is needed. So for me to change that, actually, so I can actually go here and I can say, well, I want to apply a tag uh, from the schedule, and I'll choose first day. And I'll add a value, in my case, uh, uh, 24 times 2. But I said at night, uh, I know every first I'm going to run a batch job. So I will say the last four hours, I will set it to 8. So now besides the weekday and weekend schedule, specifically on first day, uh, in the evening from 10, 11, no, 10, 11, 12, no, uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12, uh, 100 hours, I will have eight um, cores. So now if I take um, this schedule again, and I'll show you the amount of processors that are actually are, um, are up and running here. Let me see how I can somewhat put this into the screen. Um, I will run the script again. Let me clear the screen. And now you will see that actually um, it says, yeah, current card count is two. But based on the first day schedule, you need to have eight. So it now is automatically rescaling. So you'll see that um, uh, the VM, or sorry, the bare metal server is being um, uh, automatically updated. Um, and you'll start seeing in the actual live uh, view uh, within the operating system of that bare metal server, uh, that the number, um, uh, the amount of number of processors is actually going to increase. And there we go. Um, so this is all real time. Uh, I'm not speeding this up or, or anything like that. Uh, and what you will see is it, it for some reason, it first scales up to the full capacity of the server. So temporarily, you'll get access to all the um, 36 cores in it. And then it will actually scale back to uh, the amount of cores that I actually have um, requested, uh, in this case, eight. So you should be showing, you should be seeing in here, uh, in the end, 16 uh, virtual CPUs. And there you go. And there we have it. So based on this, I can very easily define uh, a schedule for each individual instance, uh, manage that from within the Oracle Cloud um, portal. Uh, and of course, the better you actually make this schedule uh, to your liking, the more cost savings you can actually make um, uh, running an Oracle database inside the Oracle Cloud. So thank you for watching. And as I said, if you want to have more information, um, please go to uh, www.oc-blog.com, the Oracle Cloud blog that I run, where you can get all the links um, and the uh, technical details on how to install this uh, inside your own bare metal instances. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.